As anyone familiar with series creator George Lucas's original Star Wars screenplay would tell you, the process of making the first film so special involved throwing a lot of bad ideas away. So while most of the series' worst moments are confined to the three prequels, the movie that started it all had plenty of cringeworthy material going into it, which many of Lucas's collaborators wisely fought to prune. Appearing on The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson, shortly after the Star Wars mania had begun to sweep the nation in 1977, Mark Hamill shared his own contribution to the script's improvement, revealing one clunker of a line from the original screenplay he talked Lucas out of. The dialogue was a little bit difficult. I remember there was one line that I just begged him to take out of the screenplay, and he finally did. Boy, I'll never forget it as long as I live. I sometimes dream about this line. The passage in question came up during a scene in which the crew of the Millennium Falcon comes across what remains of Princess Leia's home planet, Alderaan, after it's been destroyed by the Death Star. The line Hamill protested came as a response from Luke to a remark by Han Solo, which Hamill quotes for Carson with a charmingly gruff Harrison Ford impression. And Harrison says, look, kid, I've uh, done my part of the bargain. When I get to an asteroid, you, the old man, and the droids get dropped off. That line in and of itself wouldn't have been too out of the ordinary for the swashbuckling spaceman. But what would have come next was pretty ridiculous. And my line was, but we can't turn back. Fear is their greatest defense. I doubt if the actual security there is any greater than it was on Aquilae or Solus, and what there is is most likely directed towards a large-scale assault. Even in a script filled with confusing exchanges, that one was too much for Hamill. And I thought, who talks like this, George? <laughs> The line would have still been far from the worst bit of dialogue ever to be uttered in the series, but you can see why Hamill wouldn't want to try and deliver those words. Hamill remembered pleading for the line's removal out of a sense of self-preservation. This is really not fair because, you know, we're the ones that are going to get vegetables thrown at us, not you. The presence of the planet names Aquilae and Solist in the convoluted line serves to demonstrate just how much got chiseled away from Star Wars script on its way from page to screen. In the original story treatment, Aquilae was a fleshed-out planet with the real-world parallel of communist North Vietnam. By the time the movie was shooting, the names had been reduced to a reference for the sake of world-building. When Hamill prevailed in removing the one line they appeared in, he deleted the planets entirely. The line that haunted Hamill isn't the only part of Star Wars' original script that needed work, and Hamill's not the only actor who had issues. Harrison Ford, who plays the space pirate in the film, at one point threatened to tie George up and, and uh, make him say his own lines at gunpoint. While the cast's complaints with the script may have caused some friction, their efforts worked to sand down Star Wars' rough edges, making it so most of the worst stuff never made it out of the editing bay. It all goes to show that when it comes to collaboration, compromise is king. Otherwise, you get the Phantom Menace. And how many great lines can you quote from that? It's a big sea monster. <laughs> no, Jar Jar Binks is terrible. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.